services. Yes, I'd like to get uh, services through you guys. Okay, ma'am, what kind of services are you looking for? Um, the legal and um, so, uh, case management. Okay, what kind of legal services are you looking for, ma'am? For custody agreements, a protection order. Okay, ma'am, currently we cannot do any family law cases, um, but we can definitely get you started with case management. Can I have your name, please? You're not doing legal there, ma'am? We're not doing any family law cases. So no, not for protection orders or custody? Isn't that vital for people, for women fleeing abuse? Because I haven't been able to get it in years, ma'am. You got to see it to believe it. Okay. Um, we can definitely help uh, um, with protection orders and such. You don't need a lawyer for that. Um, but any custody, yes. Unfortunately, we do not currently have a lawyer that is practicing that law here. We've had some turnover. But we can definitely still offer case management and help you get some resources if you're interested. Okay, I am. Ma'am, I have a problem because the police department interrupts me getting this advocacy and has places um, do not uh, retract on services. And they, okay. you've already done it in the past. I came in, they said they were going to help me, then they ducked, ducked and dodged me and then retracted on services. All domestic violence organizations do this, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Can I have your name, please? It's Kiana. Okay. So I don't know what to do when law enforcement is involved in the uh, abuse the domestic violence situ crisis. Okay, well that's something definitely we can you can bring up with the case manager when you come in for an intake and screening. Okay. Okay, Ms. Clark, can you tell me um, what is the zip code that you were living in at the time of the abuse? Um, it's all zip codes, wherever I live. It follows me. Uh, I'm stalked where through my, at? it's stalking, he's used for the police department and my electronic devices to stalk. Okay, currently where is the zip code that you're residing in? I'm blacklisted from all the domestic violence help here. I can't okay, get it. What is a good phone number for you? And they'll give you a call back probably uh, sometime either tomorrow or the next day to schedule you in for like a screening and intake and then see if you qualify for our services and go from there. Ma'am, I haven't qualified for five years. So what is, uh, why am I not qualifying for domestic violence organizations when the law enforcement is involved? Are they telling you guys to do this? I'm sorry, ma'am. I if, do not. If I, I have can't twenty something, that question. you you should be able to answer it because you shouldn't let police um, dictate you helping women fleeing abuse. We do not work with law enforcement, ma'am. Like our organization, not run through law enforcement. We are a nonprofit. So I don't want to so go through all training? all that. I want to know if you're going to be able to help me up front because it's wasted my time to repetitively have to experience this to come in and go through all the hoops and then all of a sudden the police sabotage any assistance I can get and threaten security to enforce that I leave to not get help to flee from them. Unfortunately, ma'am, I'm not a case manager, so I couldn't tell you if you qualify for services. I can just start you on the process. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and speak with the case manager. She'll, she would be able to tell me if I qualified before I came in? I believe so, ma'am. Okay. So. Um, when, when did you start the qualification process? I've noticed that all domestic violence organizations since I've been in my crisis have a qualification process that excludes me. To my knowledge, ma'am, we have had a screening process since the company was founded 30 years ago. So I unfortunately do not work with other organizations, so I don't know how they're run. Okay, but you'd be able to give me referrals to a location that could help me, right? I can give you referrals to other domestic violence organizations for sure. I mean ones that could help if you can't help. Because I haven't had help in five years, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Um, uh, do you have a pen to write these down? I do. Okay. Um, have you tried calling Family Place? Yes, they won't help. They threaten Genesis the police. Women's shelter. I'm sorry. Genesis Women's Shelter. They lied and said I was recording them, and they shouldn't even know that I record. But I can try them again. What's that number? It is two one four nine four six. Four three five seven. Okay. There's the Salvation Army Domestic Violence Shelter. Okay. Um, do you have legal? You have legal with your organization, right? We do have legal with our organization, ma'am. Okay. Oh. Um, there's also River of Life. 
I haven't contacted them before. Okay. Okay. Do you have their number? What is the number? 214-886-3563. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll send your information out today. Okay. Bye. Bye.